Hey guys, it's me Janine and welcome back to my channel. So today is a Monday. It's 10 Ayan, it's 10.16 in the evening, so I should be sleeping by this time. But for the sake na ma-edit ko na tong video, hopefully tomorrow, I'm vlogging late at night. So yeah, for this video, I will be discussing my... Well, it's not my. I'll be discussing K-pop albums or K-pop merch. So um, I, I constantly upload my um my k-pop boodles my albums my magazines everything that i buy in um instagram and on twitter and then a lot of people well hindi naman sila ganun kadami but may mga tao na naga ask where i buy this album um what groups do i buy and things like that so i'll be addressing those kinds of questions i listed down the most common ones kasi medj madami so i listed down the most common ones para just in case, diba, you are interested in collecting too. So, yeah. Um, I won't be revealing the entire collection muna because um, gusto ko sana na ma-reveal ko siya once everything is here. By everything is here. Because a lot of albums are still in transit and hindi pa sila dumadating. So, I won't make this long and I'll be going down to the first question already. So the first question is dun, 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 dun. the first question is what are the K-pop albums or what are the groups that you collect? So to answer your question, I'll be explaining kung paano ko kino collect yung groups. So I'm a multi stan. By multi stan, I have a lot of groups that I collect. So para hindi masadong masakit sa wallet ko, <laughs> um, I make it to a point that I separate groups. So I have my hard stand groups, my soft stand groups, and my super soft stand groups. <laughs> so for my hard stand groups, I have three. So for my hard stand groups, those are the boys, day six, and seventeen. So for those, I usually buy all of the albums in all versions as much as I could. But for this, for day six, for those three groups. Hindi ko na siya makakompleto because may mga albums na hindi na ni-release. Yung iba sobrang limited edition but I'll try to buy it pa din kapag pag mayaman na tayo. <laughs> so yun nga, for, the group, for those groups, yung mga hard stand ko, I accept na hindi ko na sila makakompleto because may mga albums na sobrang limited and yeah, I mean, sobrang limited nila. Yung iba hindi ko na makita. Yung iba sobrang mahal. For day six, may isang album na sobrang mahal. So, minsan nasa 4,000, 5,000 siya. For the boys, may isang album na hindi ko <laughs> mahanap. Sobrang limited niya kasi isang beses lang siya print. Tapos, wala na. Hindi na, hindi na nila nireproduce ulit. So, sobrang swerte ng mga taong may album na yun. <laughs> uh, for 17, ongoing pa yung pagkompleto ko ng albums in all versions. Because, <laughs> ang hirap niyang kompletuhin. Semicolon pa lang, 13 versions na. Um, for my soft stand groups naman, I have the, the XO, uh, Icon, Astro, Pentagon, SF9. Yan. Yan yung mga main soft stand groups ko. And then, for my super soft stand groups, ito na yung mga groups na literal soft stand lang. Um, for the, ano ba? Ito yung mga One Us, Monsta X, very, very, yeah, yung mga, and so on. So, hindi lang, girl, hindi lang girl groups, hindi lang boy groups yung kinokollect ko. I collect the girl groups as well, such as Blackpink and Red Velvet. I actually bought one twice album, yung recent album, because sobrang na LSS ako dun sa, um, dun sa alcohol fee, so bumili ako ng isang version lang. But for Red Velvet, I bought um, the Joy and the Wendy album. And may mga other albums pa ng Red Velvet na binili ko. So, moving on to the next question. Where do you buy your albums? So, ito sobrang common question to. As in, every time I upload, especially on Instagram, lagi nagtatanong yung mga, mga tao na saan, ko, saan ako bumibili ng albums. I usually buy my albums on Twitter and then sometimes on Shopee. 
But mostly, sa Twitter ako bumibili. So, um, I'll be linking down below. Kasi medyo madami yung shop na pinagbibilihan ko constantly. But, um, I usually buy kay Soul Stock for albums na... Um, mga sikat na albums, mga sikat na groups. For mga groups na hindi gaano, I mean, yung hindi masyadong malaki yung fandom dito sa Philippines, uh, kaya Soul Stream, and then yung ibang shops, yun, uh, may mga ibang shops pa kasi, so I'll be linking those below. Na lang sa description box, so, <laughs> um, para hindi na rin masyadong mahaba tong video na to. Next question is, do you buy sealed or unsealed albums? So, I buy both. Most of the time, I buy sealed album. Kasi gusto ko yung excitement na, excitement na hindi ko alam kung sino yung mapupull ko. Ganon. So, I usually buy sealed. For the unsealed albums, kapag marami yung version ng album, unsealed yung binibili ko. But, 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 there are different types of unsealed kasi. May unsealed na may inclusions, may unsealed na as in photo book and CD lang. I usually go for the unsealed na complete inclusions pa. pa. Ang difference lang kasi is alam ko na kung sino yung laman. So, answer the question, I buy both types of albums. Sealed and unsealed. So, next question is, do you sell your albums? As of now, I haven't sold a lot of albums. But yes, I did once. It's for my Chase album. Yung, so, yung pinaka-recent comeback ng Korean comeback ng The Boys. So, I bought a lot of set. So, kasi tatlong, tatlong version siya per set. Meron kasi siyang member, parang member plate. So, I, I opt to look for my bias dun sa member plates before ko ibenta yung iba. So, I bought yeah, it's four sets. <laughs> Nag math, it's four sets. I bought four sets of albums. So, um, yung six binenta ko na sila, and then the rest na iwan siya sa akin. So hinati ko siya binenta ko na yung six. So yep, I do sell my albums. So next question is, do you collect photo cards? Yes, I do collect photo cards to the extent that I buy photo cards. But I have limitation, limitations in buying photo cards. I don't splurge that much in photo cards, especially if hindi ko naman bias yon. Again, there's a list of bias lang that I collect, but hindi ko kano collect lahat ng photo cards nila. Cause sobrang mahal no ibang photo cards. Though hindi naman mga sold out, sold out member yung mga bias ko, but mahal pa rin yung photo cards. So maximum budget ko na for a photo card siguro is 500. That's it. And I won't go further. Yung 500 na yung literal picket mata. Yeah, but photo cards for me is an investment as well. Kasi may photo card ako, guys. Um, I won't show it to you na. But I have this photo card of Yun J. Um, this year ko lang siya minili. Months ago lang. And then nakita ko siya, pinibenta siya sa market ngayon at a four-digit price. Nabili ko lang siya ng nasa 200 pesos. Before. <laughs> So, nabinibenta na siya ngayon at a four-digit price. So, for me, tumataas yung value nila at some point in time. So, yes, I do collect photo cards as well. So, next question is, do you also buy merch or I buy albums only? Um, I do buy merch but not to the extent na lahat ng merch binibili ko. I wait also. So, mga merch na binibili ko are the stuffed toys, yung mga light stick. It's a merch, light stick. Mga magazines for Seventeen magazines. Um, for the boys, then I bought magazines. Ano pa ba? Um, for day six, yung stuffed toys. I haven't, I, I, I'm planning to buy a, a, a fan, yung ticket. But, mahal kasi niya, so pinag-iisipan ko pa. So, the next question is, how do you buy your albums? Is it by set or by individual? Na discuss ko na to sa first question kanina, but um to answer the question pa din, um I buy set albums if it's a hard stand group like The Boys 17 and Day 6. Yun katlong yun lang. I buy set albums cuz I'm completing I'm buying all versions of the albums. So para hindi na ako mahirapan, by pre-order, binibili ko na siya by set. 
but for my soft stand groups, I usually buy individual albums. I support solo artists as well. So, minsan mga binibili ko lang mga subunits. Um, mga subunits, special albums, uh, mga solo albums ng groups. Yun, pag mga soft stand groups, yun lang yung mga binibili ko. But, yeah, yun yung difference ng hard stand and soft stand and super soft stand groups. For my super soft stand groups kasi, I buy albums lang talaga na sobrang kapag may nagustuhan akong kanta or yung album is okay siya for me, dun lang ako wiggle ng album. I don't usually always buy their albums. So the last question is, any tips for those starting their collection? If I have one tip, um, when you're planning on starting your collection, um, do a research and mag-source out talaga kayo. Huwag yung tipong kapag may nakita kayo on Shopee na, uy, um, they sell this album, ganyan. Bibilahin nyo agad. Because, in my experience, ang daming mas murang albums than dun sa mga nakikita mo lang bigla. Like, um, eh, Ito na best example. I bought an an old album. I bought an an old album. So, the truth version and then the begin version. This one costs 990 pesos. It's a sealed album, ha? I bought it the sealed album. 990 pesos. This one costs me 660 pesos. So, sealed album din siya, as you can see. Hindi ko natanggal yung plastic. I bought both, both albums in the same condition. Both same condition sila. Um, but this one is way cheaper. I bought this on Shopee, which is much more expensive. Um, kasi nahirapan, noong una nahihirapan ako maghanap ng version na to. Um, for some reason, sa Twitter, puro unsealed yung nakikita ko. But, nung may nakita ako sa Shopee, binili ko na. <laughs> for this specific version. But this one, I bought it ng 660 lang. So, sealed album ko din siyang nabili. But, you see, there's the difference talaga. I mean, if if you just want like a random version of an album, mag-research mag, mag kayo, like, hanapin nyo talaga yung pinakamura. Because albums could be so very expensive. And yung iba nag-overpriced talaga sila sa albums. And second, last tip, if you have, like, other bills to pay, or literal, wala talaga kayong extra to buy an album, don't push yourself in buying albums. Buying albums and merches is just a way of helping them reach their goals. Kasi syempre, um, they're doing their best, they're doing their efforts in practicing almost, like, 16 hours a day. Every day. And, that's just a way of showing them that as a fan, you appreciate them. But if you have like other um, uh, bills or other priorities, I suggest wag muna for now. Hindi naman mababawasan yung pagiging K-pop fan nyo or pagiging stan nyo sa group na yon if you don't buy their merchandise and their album. E collecting these albums makes me happy and it's just so happy na may extra money ako to buy albums. But if I don't, I won't. Yun yung two main advice ko if you wanna start collecting albums. Collecting albums is quite addicting. Once you start it, there's no turning back. Hindi <laughs> mo na mapipigilan na um, bumili sunod-sunod. So, buy at your own risk and yeah. <laughs> Wag nating ubusin ng ating mga pera sa K-pop albums. Not to self yun. <laughs> but, yeah. So, that's it for today, guys. It's um, almost 11 o'clock na. And, gusto ko nang matulog kasi maaga pa ako tomorrow. But, yeah. Thank you so much if umabot kayo dito sa last stretch ng video na to. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And, if you watched it, most probably na upload it on YouTube, diba? Um, Please do continue supporting me in this journey again of um, vlogging. You can see this background na to because we'll be filming a lot more. That's it for today, guys. And thank you so much. And I hope um, this serves like 
um, something that is interesting and knowledgeable. <laughs> okay, thank you so much guys. Bye!